everyone, so let's play a little game. It's called, what country am I in? So the way this works is I'm gonna give you three clues and you can take a guess. Here we go, it's where one, Jewish people get beaten up in the streets, two, female genital mutilation is promoted and nobody bats an eye about it, and three, people are physically attacked for their political affiliations. What do you think? Perhaps somewhere in the Middle East? Iran maybe? Not even close. This is happening right here in Canada, right here in Calgary actually. We've seen these kinds of things happen in our own backyard before, but the latest is shocking nonetheless. Here, take a look at this article published by the website Muslims in Calgary. It defends female genital mutilation and even asserts it's a beneficial Islamic practice. The article states, there is a strong body of evidence emerging to support the view that the proper Islamic procedure involving the removal of the clitoral prepice is beneficial to women and not detrimental to them. The piece also lays the anti-Semitism on thick, suggesting the harmlessness of the procedure is overlooked due to the Islamophobic Jewish controlled media. Beneficial? There's nothing beneficial about slicing and dicing parts of a woman's vagina. It's actually a punishment that reduces sexual pleasure and can result in recurrent infections, cysts, fatal bleeding, the inability to get pregnant and complications during pregnancy. It's an absolutely barbaric practice that's performed on most girls before they've even turned five in places like the Middle East and Africa. Actually, the World Health Organization labels female genital mutilation a human rights violation. This is how WHO describes it on their website. It reflects deep-rooted inequality between the sexes and constitutes an extreme form of discrimination against women. It is nearly always carried out on minors and is a violation of the rights of children. The practice also violates a person's rights to health, security and physical integrity, the right to be free from torture and cruel, inhuman or degrading treatment, and the right to life when the procedure results in death. Of course, the domain of this Muslims in Canada website is privately registered, but that won't come as a shock to a lot of Calgarians. We've seen actual violence erupt on our streets at the hands of pro-Hamas thugs. Remember that summer day in 2014 when a Jewish family, including female members, got beat in the streets at a pro-Hamas rally right here in Calgary? That was the same rally where pro-Palestine attendees shouted Nazi slogans at Jews and beleaguered MP Darshan Kang, who's been accused of the sexual harassment of former employees, was a featured speaker on the pro-Hamas side. The punishment for these violent thugs? A forced apology and a slap on the wrist. Actually, there were around a thousand protesters and the cops didn't show up until it got violent. Meanwhile, Calgary street preacher Arthur Palowski and six people from his assembly were arrested inside Calgary City Hall for holding a Christmas time church service without filing the necessary permits. You might also remember when I told you about a University of Calgary student who was allegedly attacked by a young Muslim and Obama supporter for wearing a Make America Great Again hat on campus. There were no repercussions from police for the attacker, just a lot of silence. Excuses were made about security tapes not showing who instigated the attack and that it looked consensual. And then there are the Al-Quds rallies in the city. Remember that one I went to this year where speakers compared Jews to Nazis? These are basically pro-genocide rallies. I mean, the holiday was created by Iran's Ayatollah Khomeini, who calls for the end of the state of Israel. All of this has some Calgarians wondering why rabid anti-Semitism in the city is unrestrained, especially when we have the first Muslim mayor in Canada, Nahid Nenshi, running the city. Does he have a bias? It does appear that way, considering Christian street preacher Palowski has been arrested more than eight times and has been summoned to court over a hundred times, mostly on nuisance complaints. Meanwhile, real violence and the torture of women is being condoned right here on Calgary streets. 
At this point, our own feminist prime minister has removed the warning against female genital mutilation in the citizenship guide given to all new Canadians. So it really doesn't come as much of a surprise, to me at least. This is what happens when progressivism takes over and local politicians keep drinking the diversity is our strength Kool-Aid. And the naysayers? They'll keep throwing us a line about how we're overreacting when we have every reason to be concerned. They call us racists and tell us we're intolerant. It's shut uppery in its most common form, meant to force people to question whether they're sane for doing a double take when it comes to this stuff. But what's really crazy is that these things are happening right here in a Canadian city and they're going practically unchecked. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, hit the visit link to check out all of our premium content. For just eight bucks a month, you still get access to all of our free videos, plus all of our full length shows.